Okay, we got some characters still on our team. Rita, Raven, are doing stuff. Well, Flynn understands his task at hand. Maybe he'll go back to the team soon. Hopefully. We got Judah the Leafs to help repeat Carol. As she's trying to find her destiny. And Yuri? Just Yuri. And welcome back to TT Gaming and Tales of Vespria. This thing's got a little crazy to see a flying phoenix to talk to Esty. What is that one for her? It's different from the rest, isn't it? Yeah. Seems like it. But we gotta head to where we need to go to, etc. So... Oh, away we go, I suppose? We had to head back to one of the towns. Uh... Oops. Hit the wrong button. Well, we can't go back there right now. The bridge is taken out. Where to? I know we gotta get out of town, but I'm dying here. Did you ran fast again? So, um, why is Judith coming along with us anyway? With the circumstances being what they are, this is just how things turned out. I don't mind a few extra travel companions, but we do need to put in a little more effort. <laughs> Just how far are we going? I guess Heliord's our closest destination, so at least until there. Heliord is. What? Should we rest a little once we get out of the city? Agreed. Okay, okay. Now let's get moving. Move it, move it, move it, move it. Alright. Oh, man. Where to go, though? Uh... That's not Heliar. Hey, you mind if I ask a question? I need to be sure of something. What is it? <laughs> that big monster we saw? It was talking, right? Like our language. Yes. I heard it with my own ears. You all heard it too? I guess it wasn't my imagination after all. Yeah. Who's ever heard of a monster that speaks a human language? Just what is that monster? Some type of bird. From the sound of it, from the looks of it, we might as well train too at the same time. Ooh, they look scary. Ooh, a new music to it. Wow, I think things are about to change in this game so far. Oh, at least I got the tent, so it's good. I'll use them when necessary. I know the deal. It's price it ends usually a little cheap in this game. <laughs> Uh, is it this way? This will make good practice. Don't get careless. We're escaping in the rain. Where to go? I forgot where to go. There's a location out of here. I guess I could do both while I'm at it. Hang on, guys. I'll figure something out. something out. Jeez, isn't it be different, isn't it? Okay. Yay! The bridge collapsed from the monster's attack. I wonder if Dongrest is alright. It seems that some people were injured too. The place was crawling with knights. I think they can handle things from here. Yeah. Plus the Dawns and Dawngrest and all the guild members are really tough. Flynn would catch us if we went back now. And that'd be the end of your travels. Yeah. You're right. I'll put my trust in the Imperial Knights and the guilds. Yeah. I decided I'm going with you and that's what I'm gonna do. Yeah. I don't know. It's weird. I'll find my way for it somehow. What happened to taking a break? It's probably a good time. It looks like no one is following us anymore. And it's raining. You don't want to catch a cold? How can you tell? Hmm. Intuition, I suppose. Intuition? Or you just got good hearing. Anyway, we should be fine here. Let's rest for now. Okay. I thought you had a good idea. When we have time to take a longer rest, 
We've got to decide a few things about our guild. What is it with you and taking breaks? What do you hope to accomplish by starting a guild? Eh. Accomplish? Hmm. I want our guild to become really big! And then someday we'll follow in the Dawn's footsteps and protect Dawngrest ourselves! That eh. way, I can show him my gratitude for all the years he's defended the city! That's a wonderful dream, Carol. Perfect. I'll just stick with the boss here. Huh? B boss Me? You're right. You were the first one to bring up this crazy idea. <laughs> I guess you're right. Well, it looks like the direction I'm heading to is probably the right way. Good. I don't want to go anywhere that's not the right way. So, what's the first order of business? Eat! I, I mean plan! To calm down. Yeah! <laughs> you make guilds sound like fun. Why don't you join the guild as well, Judith? Hmm, I wonder. Do you think they'd let me? I'm sure they will. The most important thing is obeying the guild's laws. Those who break the laws will be severely punished, even friends or family. Ooh. The laws are the source of a guild's pride. No one can be admitted without making a solemn pledge to uphold them. Do we have to do a blood elf? No, 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 don't, don't, don't do the blood thing. And what are the laws of your guild, Carol? Um... Everybody's supporting each other and always acting with the interests of the guild in mind. Striving to always do the right thing while punishing those who don't. He's right. What do you mean? All for the guild and the guild for all. All for one, fun for all, I guess. Do justice and punish the unjust. That's right, too. Everyone's opinion will be valued, so long as it doesn't go against these laws. Yuri, that's just what I... Yeah. Right, boss? All for the guild and the guild for all. Yeah, that's it. Those are our laws. Yes. It looks like these will be my laws from now on as well. Sure it's okay to make up your mind like that? Yes. You've got me curious. <laughs> all for the guild. I like the way that sounds. Well then? I pledge to uphold the laws. For the guild's sake. And my own. <laughs> How about your partner? Thanks for your concern. But it's huh. alright. He won't mind. Okay. Your partner? A friend I was traveling with earlier. Huh. I didn't know you had someone like that. Okay. So from today on, we'll be your new partners, Judith. Yeah. I look forward to it. Me too. Oh. Yeah. Then I Okay, let's call it a day for now. Yeah, I almost forgot how sore I am. Whatever, all the running in the forest and fighting you just a little? <laughs> Whatever. The more the merrier. We will have more in our team somehow. We can do it. I swear on us oh, the guild is us. Any members that join us at any time or are out there will help to return again. And to those who make the right, we don't make a wrong on purpose. Accidents maybe, but let's continue fighting onward in tradition and sweets, but mostly for fans and family because that's the biggest gift of all. We are the Gill. What do you think of that speech? I just made it up. Let's go talk to everyone. Oh, Yuri. Hey, you're not asleep? No? Is something the matter? No. I was just trying to think of what our next move should be. Yes. I didn't even think I'd be able to continue traveling with you. Well, you are. I'm still trying to decide if I should. You're really going to put your all into this guild, aren't you? Boom. I'd like to say I'm just going to go with the flow, but I went and bragged to Flynn about it. I guess I can't slack off now. Carol certainly seems happy. I'm a bit jealous. Oh. Does Her Majesty the Princess wish to join our humble guild? <laughs> if I asked you to let me in, would you let me in? Of course. If you've thought about this and it's your decision, I won't try to stop you. Neither will I. Yeah, you're right. I should really give this some thought. Well, don't think too hard about it. <laughs> Maybe they make a couple after all. How can I decide? Instincts, my friend. Instincts. Thanks. For what? You're staying up to keep watch, aren't you? Tuh. 
No, not at all. You're so evasive. Heh. <laughs> You're one to talk. Huh. Weird. I always thought I was pretty straightforward. Seriously? You haven't even given your real reason for joining our guild. Heh. <laughs> I joined because I wanted to. That's it? Really? No. So long as they don't go against the laws of the guild, everyone's wishes are respected, right? Respect by fall tie place. That's exactly what you, they, they first. Don't worry. I said I'd uphold the laws, and I will. But in my own way. All right. Well, I'll get you to tell me the real reason eventually. So it was a coincidence that you were in Dongrest? Yes, I was. That's the truth. Isn't it lovely? Sure. Lovely. Hmm. Thanks. For keeping watch? For talking. Heh. <laughs> Friendship. What? You're not asleep? We're going to sleep in a bit. Nah, I've been trying to think of a name for our guild. Oh. I'm going to think of something really cool. Can we come up with a name? Probably not. But that would be neat. Sure. I can't wait. Yuri? Hmm? I was thinking about this. We made our guild without first swearing allegiance to its laws, didn't we? Repeat what I said in the video to replay that again and see the speech I made up. That's pretty cool. Yeah, but did that earlier today, right? So no worries. Yeah. Huh. <laughs> Yuri? What is it? Did you just make those laws up or did you hear them somewhere? They just came to me. Why, were they no good? You got it from certain someone from a while back, did you? Oh no, not at all. It's just... Those were the exact same laws I'd been thinking of. Ah. I'm really happy that I was able to make a guild with you, Yuri. They're like brothers, these two. <laughs> what a thing to say. Don't get all mushy on me. <laughs> I... Oh! What? What now? I thought of a name! What? Super Ultra Courageous Braves! Mm, no. <laughs> that sounds like a name Captain Carol would come up with, definitely. Let's go with that then. Well, I suppose if Yuri's cool with that, I, it's not as bad. It sounds a little goofy, but I won't argue with that, Carol. It made me smile. In a good way. Right. right. All right, all right. <laughs> Repeat. Repeat. You're keeping watch too, huh? So, we started a guild. We're a motley crew, but it should be interesting. Heh. <laughs> I like this dog. Dog, half dog, half wolf. <laughs> You're our number two. Try not to give the boss too much of a hard time. <laughs> you should get some rest too. Ruff, ruff. Ruff, ruff, ruff. What's that? Are you saying I should just trust you to keep watch for us? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right, I'll get some rest then. Thanks, Repeat. Nighty night. That's a good dog. That's smart. <laughs> I hope we can find some work to do now that we've made our guild. Easy, Tiger. So, Estelle, what are you going to do? I want to go looking for that talking monster. If it was me he was after, I want to find out why. Ah, smart. Don't feel like you'll be able to rest easy till you find out, huh? But how will you do that? How can you look for a monster if you have no idea where it is? I thought you were in charge of all the monster-related information. Yeah. Don't ask me. Even I've never seen anything like that before. That was no monster. His name is Pharaoh. Pharaoh. Do you know about him? The Phoenix bird named Pharaoh? I saw him earlier when I was traveling with my friend, and it was my friend who knew his name. Why would your friend know the name of something like that? Where did you see it? It was on the Desire continent, in the sands of Kogor. Sands of Kogor? It's the continent to the southwest of Tolbikia. The continent of Desire. The desert. The one with it far from the bridge from there to the city? You don't just go marching off to a desert because someone saw a monster. He's right, you know. 
I wonder if that fairy tale could be... Fairy tale? Fairy tale? Something I read at the castle. A tale about a monster that speaks, who lives in the sands of Kagor. Kagor. There are always stories like that. Like the one about the monster in the sea who talks to people. Talks to people? Huh. I think you've got it backwards. Backwards? How? Such creatures do exist, but they have simply become the stuff of legend. It's like the saying, where there's smoke, there's fire. Yeah, but are you thinking of going all the way to a place like that alone, Estelle? Huh? If we don't well, I... Bodyguard operation, Sorry, we'll slipped. Really march Again. Off on our own. What do you think? Let's take this as our first guild assignment. Hey, you're right. We'd be breaking our own laws if we let her go alone. That's right. But if this is a real job, we'll have to charge Estelle our fee. Oh, we don't need to worry about something like money, right? Nope. No exceptions. Money is a necessity for running a guild. Huh. Um, I'm afraid I'm a bit short on funds at the moment. Huh. <laughs> In that case, why don't we just figure something out later? Yeah. I'll pay the fee, I promise. So let's all go together. Okay. Okay, looks like that settles it. This way we can all continue the journey. All right. Super ultra courageous brains, fall out. W what is that? Huh? That's our guild's name. We can't go with that. We need something easy to say that has a real snap to it. I'm afraid she's right. Oh, really? It's not. No. Yeah, no, that's all right. You made me smile with it. How about something like Brave Vesperia? There we go. It's the star that gives off the brightest light in the night sky. Brave Vesperia. The brightest star. Cool. That I approve. Brave Vesperia. Hmm. I like it. Let's stick with that. Okay, that settles it. Let's get to Torum Harbor and charter a boat. We're off on an ocean voyage to the continent of Desier. Okay, question. Where the hell are we going to get a boat? Didn't you want to take a break at Heliord? Needs it. Either way, we can't get to Torum without passing through Heliod. Exactly. Hello, waters, boats. I'd also like to see how they've been doing since the Blastia went out of control. Yeah, that was pretty crazy. Tell me about it. All right, we'll just stop in for a quick look around Judith? the city. Okay. So first to Heliod, then from Torum to Desier by boat. Okay, I'll try again. Brave Vesperia. Here, here, Judith. Carl earned the Brave Vesperia Leader title. A Vesperia Leader title. Okay, so we're heading to this spec back to Helidor. So we gotta make the map a little bit from here. Oh, it's over there. I knew that. Yuri, I was a little surprised to hear that you're starting a guild. Well, it's not like I'll be doing it all on my own. Did Carol give you the idea? Yeah, but I've been thinking about it myself for a while now, too. Hmm. I quit the nights to find my own way of doing things. But I hadn't done anything. What Flynn said to you back in the port town, that got to you, didn't it? Hmm. Nothing that guy says could get to me. <laughs> he doesn't like to admit his feelings, does he? No. Not in a bad way. He's just a little shy boy. Ooh, they look scary. Ooh, scary. Read a brave and fun combat to this name, so. Time to kick ass! Bad Toidle! Bad Toidle! There's a Toidle. A turtle. Yeah. Bad Toidle. I don't mind fighting off. Oh, there we are. Man, could you be any weaker? I guess I'll go easy on them. Still not enough. Well, I'll have enough to heal the heal up again in and save. You know what? Just go with that, okay? Ah, oh, man. 
I have to go around, don't I? Fine, you know what? Just find your way around here and you'll be okay. I forgot to get back. This will make good practice. But if I need to heal with a tent, you know what to do. What's a new enemy with a horn beak? It's like a trumpet. Eh, trumpet like bird. You probably play as bad as you look. Boom, 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 boom. Amazing, Carol. <laughs> that bag's just amazing. My bag? This power will make me stronger. Well, it's fashionable. Okay, okay. Calm down, Taylor. I went backwards, so I have to go this way. Give me a second, will you? Can't you see I'm trying to figure something out how to get across the other side of the air? Yeah. Let's work together. Yeah. Still on a train. I know, I know. I have to go take the button thing. I gotta find a way to get down first. Ah, oh, crap, it got me! Get it, repeat. Bad lizard. Bad boydy. Bad antelope. Ugh. Okay, calm down. Calm down. Got it. I just gotta make my way on the beach side. I'll find my way back. Jesus, why do they just make easy paths like a ladder or something? Yeah. Onto the beach. I try to make it to the other side. That moving fortress that attacked that monster was amazing! What'd you call it? Heracles? That was a monster Heracles. itself. Named Her Heracles. had anything like that. Felt differently now. I don't know many details, but it seems it was constructed under Alexei's orders. Without Heracles, mm. we might all be in that flying monster's stomach about now. Seriously, Heracles to the rescue! Heracles, Heracles, Heracles! Where the hell is the way out of here? Okay, come on down, Taylor. I know, I know, I'm not supposed to head back there. I'm really lost. Could you be any weaker? Don't get cocky. <laughs> I'll figure everything out. All right, calm down, Taylor. Calm down, think. Calm down, think. I came from this area. We had a cutscene. Okay. This is gonna happen. Here. 
where to? Here we go. I found it. I did it by myself. Sweet. Oh my. Doesn't the city seem less busy than before? Yeah, this place has gotten a lot more ghost towny. And where's the sun? Shouldn't this, the store have got destroyed and we finally fixed it or something? Now that you mention it, maybe. Huh? What's wrong? In Dongrest, I heard that the construction work here is so brutal that tons of people have been fleeing. Huh? I don't know if that's true or not, though. Huh. Interesting. She has to do something about it. What do you mean? You can see it on her face. If that's the case, we should go to the inn and have a strategy meeting first. After all, we need to go check on the Blastia, too. Yeah, and it's not like Estelle can just let things go. <laughs> you can't just ignore people's problems, can you? I know, I know. So then, let's go! To the inn! To the inn! And maybe recover! He's getting into it. He's so happy that he was able to start a guild with Yuri. <laughs> Hey, it's not like I did this just for Carol's sake. But you care about his feelings, don't you? That seems that sounds like it. Yeah, well, come on, we should hurry to the end. Heh. <laughs> well, it seems to be okay now. We picked a name, made laws, got our first job. We're a pretty respectable guild now. But are three members really respectable? Why not? The Dark Wings, the famous Thieves Guild, they only have three members too. Quality over quantity. Hmm. Too many people get to be a headache. I prefer a small group. But you can't follow in the Dawn's footsteps and defend Dongrist without a few more bodies. Yeah, I guess. Yeah. But if we just put one foot in front of the other, I know we'll be big someday. So then you're saying we can take it easy? <laughs> no way! We gotta give this guild 110%. <laughs> <laughs> Aye, aye, Captain. Don't you mean 100%? Well, I suppose. Alright, we gotta find that inn. I'm still amazed from that waterfall scene. It does look beautiful. Nope. Well, sorry, I forgot where it is. Oh, yeah, the Flastia seems to be okay now there. Okay. Let's find it in and recover, and then... Yeah. Okay! First off... Uh... Can I just sell some craft real quick? Oh wait. I want to do this voice. Hello, what's this? Something new? Something new? Something new? I might as well make something out of it. Let's try to see what happens. Hey, why not? I'm down for a few all. Well, it might not be a lot now, but... Let's see if we can get something. Hang on, hang on. Now always make sure you always have everything necessary before doing anything else, okay? I want to make sure that everyone is fully prepared for the upcoming events to be. Or soon to come. Of other things, who knows where to find. Ah, okay, we're good. Let's sell some craft then. I know, yes, unfortunately. I should have checked. Huh. No selling out like anything else, huh? Is 
see if I can get some stuff a little. Hello? Can't get any more? Or something? <laughs> yes! The devil. I'm gonna get a couple of furs just in case. Eh, I'm about out of equipment. And now then. Strong. The mm -hmm. cell. I always sell a check before you give it away. Thank you. We're good. Now that we have a goal and a destination, I'm <laughs> so excited about continuing our journey. This is a lot bigger than when we were just escaping the capital and chasing after Flynn. <laughs> we're out to find a mysterious talking monster. And to get over to Desier, we'll need to cross the sea again. I think the sands of Kagor will be a hot and harsh environment, too. Still, I can't help but be excited that I get to continue my journey. New landscapes we've never seen are waiting for us just past the horizon. Well, By swimming in the boat? I know. <laughs> uh, let's save real quick and then I'll recover and save again. How's that sound? Alrighty! Off the shore goes the shore. Ha Yes, please. Then I'll save again. Weird beds. How do you sleep with a bag on you? Also, how do you sleep with shoes? <laughs> he always takes a couch, Yuri. Huh? Who's there? No room service, please. I'm sleepy. I guess I can't let things go either. Huh. Really? Well, I don't know what's going to happen next, but let's start things off around here. Yuri's going to do something, so let's check it out. Can't sleep. Cloudy, eat me. <laughs> Hello? Is anybody home? What? What? I need to save stuff too. But I gotta make sure I do it right. Uh, what do I do? Judy. Late night stroll? The scenery here reminds me of home. Huh. Your home must be in a pretty place then. I just mean that it's up high like this and has a good view. Not that I have a problem with heights. <laughs> yeah, I guess you wouldn't, riding around on that monster. Yeah. His name is Baul, and he's not a monster. Baul. And it's not only because he can fly. It's her friend, silly. We've been together ever since he saved me during the war. Oh. War? You mean between the Empire and the Guilds? Whoa. This world always seems to be ravaged by some war or another. Yeah, I guess so. 
It was you who attacked Estelle here earlier, wasn't it? You're pretty sharp if you were able to tell who it was I was after. I'm just that kind of guy. Oh. <laughs> ah, come on. Pharaoh also appeared because of Estelle. Is there some connection between them, between him and your partner? Who is your partner, anyway? It's hard to explain. But you won't deny it, that you would come for her. You're after Esty? I'm afraid I'm not very good at lying. Uh. All right, I won't ask any more questions. But if it looks like you're going after her again... You needn't worry. I won't be doing that sort of thing anymore. You have my word. You mean it? What can I say that will make you believe me? Well, you said you were no good at telling lies. <laughs> it's not like we're all that different. I've got a few skeletons in my closet, too. Yeah, like the one you just killed, that fake counselor traitor. Ooh, I shouldn't have said that loud. Why are you a strange one. Gee, a psych. Cue intro. <laughs> Shall we have a look around the town? We also need to have a look at the Blastia that went berserk last time. Oh yeah! It seems to be functioning, but it's always good to double check. And now what? Huh? Is everyone recovered? Okay, good. No backlash. Repeat's an honorary member of Brave Vesperia too, isn't he? Of course. Of course he is. But everyone who joins the guild has to swear to uphold its laws, don't they? Well, in his case... What are you all worried about? Repeat knows the laws. <laughs> there have been eh. lots of times when I just know Repeat understands what we're saying. Eh. I know how you feel. Yeah, I don't know. Well, how about it, Repeat? Eh. He just went to mark his territory. Eh. I think everything's going to be fine whatsoever. Come on. We know the stuff. We know the way. Nothing to worry about. Hey, speaking of stuff... We kind of have to have some things. Let's switch it up a bit. Find that me. Let's look at the monster category before we call it quits. Now, we'll stop for the day. It's fine. You're cool with that, guys, right? There's our enemies. Pause if you want to check it out. We'll just see these guys what we found in Venter's fight so far. Sorcerer and Witch. Eh, got that part right. He was a scumbag. He's a psychopath. He do his like few time battle. That's fun. It didn't really matter. That's just an expertise battle. Those two are annoying, but eh, not as bad. The monsters and the the green, the beast type. I've seen the egg bear guess two so of those creatures. Those things, that thing's awesome. Yeah. I'm just naming the stuff I saw probably for Exxon. Well, not all of them. Honker. Ha! <laughs> Silver beak. Holler. Who the hell named something of a holler? Chippery? Magic type, plant type. I'm against some newbies. Monster type. The aqua. Aqua. Aquity type. Aquity? What kind of word is that? Aquity? Insect type. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Come up with better names. Inno. Interacinic type. The gob. I definitely know that for Arthur Gafson. Seed? That's the name of it, huh? Scale type. Cool. Time to save! Tyler, hopefully Judith keeps a word. SD and I, Carol, repeated, and obviously Yuri will travel the journeys. What's going on here? We must find a boat to the next destination. So until next time, all you tail fans out there in Tales of Vespria. Uh, yeah, the name of the title of their group, the Guild thing? That's gonna happen soon, but oh well. We'll see you then for our next story to count of us. We're back again. I go back and forth, so this is fine. So, see you then. <laughs>